Hello friends. <coughs> so in the last class we were trying to explain what is encoding and decoding according to Stuart Hall. So here you have got his own words. Uh, think of this process in terms of a structure. Why does he say like that again? Because he rejected the existing or the old form of uh, media message, media message construction. So that is a sender, message and receiver. He said too linear and so too simple. And therefore he rejected that and then he says, think of this process in terms of a structure produced and sustained through the articulation of linked but distinct moments. So these moments which we have seen, it's a complex, it's a linked, relatively autonomous, which are those moments, production, circulation, distribution, uh, consumption and uh, reception, that is encoding. Production is, uh, in, sorry, decoding. Production is encoding. And distribution, production, reproduction. This would be, and uh, that is small production, a link but distinctive moments. These moments are production, circulation, distribution, consumption, that means use, reproduction. This would be to think of the process as a complex structure of dominance. Dominance, positive meaning is something is dominating, negative meaning is restricting. When something is dominating, there, there should be restrictions, isn't it? Example in your class, suppose your professor is dominating, then there will be many restrictions, that's the meaning. So there are restrictions here, which are, we, are, we are going to see uh, structure of dominance sustained through the articulation of connected practices, each of which, however, retains its distinctiveness and has its own specific modality. Modality means modes of operating, its own forms and conditions of existence. So these forms are got a production has got its own forms and conditions of existence, circulation has, distribution and consumption has, and reproduction has. So these are the words of Paul himself. Understand? Now let us have a look at this. I think you have a, since my body is a small one, I am going to clear this board, I think it is clear to you. So the, what is written is, and you have already taken this down. Or it is in the text that you can read. Definitely, uh, class or a lecture is not uh, lecture is not equivalent to a text. Understand? The original text you are supposed to read. The original text also. Uh, this teacher, as you know, is only a facilitator. So relatively autonomous, and at the same time they are they are linked. These things we saw yesterday. So now today, what we will take one by one, hmm? and then we we'll see how this this processes process is influenced. Let's say encoding first. Encoding on what do you call it? Uh, encoding on production. Media message production. Now what happens to that? What are the influences? How are, what are the dominances? Or what are the restrictions on that? Sorry. First and foremost we understand that an event, something that is happening, is transferred from a four-dimensional plane to a two-dimensional plane. Also some people say it is only three-dimensional, four dimensional, which are the length, breadth, height and time. Understand that? So these are the four dimensions. Now when you create a new story, there has to be an event, a raw event, this is the process, a raw event or anything raw, that has to be converted into a story. That is a discourse. Isn't it? Now, while doing this, when you take the example of, say, yesterday's bus accident, nothing happened, I just imagination, when a bus and a luxury car collide. If it is a transport bus and a luxury car, if it is a private bus and a luxury car, if it is a, a, a excursion parties, car and sorry, bus and a luxury car, or if it is a taxi car and a, and a excursion, changes. Bus accident is a raw thing. Now, how many, how many 
points are here at play. Listen, this and I only give you the examples. So first and foremost, that's the thing. So the story is the influence of dimensions. So this. Or dominance of dimensions or, this, or restrictions of dimensions. That's the first thing that happens. Then what else you find? You find that uh, uh, this it has to be edited. So this, editing. You if you are, when a reporter comes, when a reporter uh, is writing these things down, it may be five pages, six pages, or then he is um, taking photographs of that and also asking people around him what, what has happened and things like that. You know, it may run the pages, but at the studio it has to be edited. So there is another dominance, one another restriction we can see. see that? And then we have got what they call media policies, another restriction on this, media policy, media policy, because some media policy and practices we can say, practices, some channels, for example, they are not very much concerned about this road accident and so on, so on, so they will uh, suppress it, they will just say there was an accident, sir. In such and such place, and something happened. But certain other channels, their policy is to project this and make it a big story. So that, because it has got relevance, it has got great relevance to the safety of the people on the road. So it depends on the policies. So policy restrictions are there. Listen. And we have got another technic, technology. Technology, digital, digital technology, isn't it? Yeah. So that is good. Suppose the at the production center you have got the latest gadgets. There's another channel which, which does not have these things. See the difference you find there. So at the production level, dominance is research. And again you have got ideology. Ideology is another. See how many factors are influencing this production or encoding. That's why I say it's a complex structure articulated by, it's activated by. It's a complex structure activated by or articulated by many variables. So the variables are innumerable. I'm only suggesting, I'm only just. Uh, Writing down here a few, few. <laughs> See that. So you have got an idea, technology, and this idea. Now that also can happen. Now. Suppose it is a, a state-owned bus, transport bus, a, a state transport bus, and the, the other is a, a poor man's car. So then what will happen? There some channels may, well, they would like to cover up the whole thing. Uh, means to make the accident in such a way that the culprit, they can make the culprit the person who drove the car rather than the person who drove the bus. Understand? If on the other hand you have got a, a free expression and you are not uh, controlled by state ideology and so on, then you can say you can find fault with the transport bus mistake transport bus rather than this. So this way you can change the story. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And then you can again have what's called hegemonic tendencies you will find. Hegemonic tendencies. Isn't it? Ideology hegemony. Hegemony. Hegemony works. Hegemony can work in the same means down power play. Power. Power relations you can see. I, uh, as I told you about this uh, ideology, the power relations also. Suppose it is uh, the, 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 the company that owns the car or the say it is a company that owns a car and that car is has uh, come in the collision and uh, there is an accident and the company has got tremendous power either to make or mar a government then their influence will come in there. Hegemonic influence can be there. Understand? And further, what happens, you know, you are 
this is this what when you are encoding you you don't have that see dimensions time place not form time is this is a story a forensic story what you see is only a message nothing has happened nothing is happening on the stage oh, sorry on the on the screen in the screen you get a forensic story not actually the, what actually happened so again we can see restrictions because it is removed from time place and the, the actual action isn't it actually it action time place and action removed see that and that again causes an another restriction so this so we can say that uh, there is the other restrictions are caused by uh, removing or uh, or the time place action action or you can say what happens to the encoding level is a a forensic story forensic forensic story or an actual story so there again it becomes immediately a message the event has just disappeared what happens is you get a message see how complex is the structure here at each level it's like if you look at that and the above all this happens it is all the stages of media message that is all the stages are infested with you can say or you can say uh, colored or another or you can say invaded by police invaded by police police means you know what is police police means many polyphonic music means many sounds semi comes from semantic semantic means many many meanings many many you have, you have got the classic example of roland bar sweater it is a sweater what uh, associated meanings come up you know sweater could mean casual dress sweater could uh, mean it is a winter winter is one sort of winter sweater sweater could mean an old man shivering person so he requires this a sweater could mean that uh, it's a kind of a fashion like that so that is called what he called connotative meaning connotative meaning connotative meaning or associated meaning associated associated meaning now this inversion of polysemy you will get throughout the stages each moment each passage of each moment or passage of each form you will find this and this you will find the the crescendo of that or the climax of that you will find in when you in decode the message understand because how many there are thousand people thousand members in the audience thousand members have got thousand opinions so that is polysemy and it doesn't mean polysemy it, it can polysemy can be at the from the point of view of the production level point polysemy is bound to happen at the point of decoding understand so you can see now they start taking only just one aspect of the media message the structure that is production or encoding how many factors are influenced so at the editing level at the dimensions level at the forensic level at the polysemy level at the technology level digital ideology level hegemony so so dominance or you can say restrictions each one of these factors factor each one of these factor either influence say influences this production process in the form of dominance or negatively speaking in the form of restrictions understand that? so when you think about polysemy i think the best example is sweater is an example but 
In our day-to-day -day life, you have got an example. Maybe you see a board like this, a signboard like this. Family planning, family health center. So you have got a, you have got a board like this, suppose. Family health center. Now I am, <coughs> I am giving this <coughs> at this stage. But what I say is because uh, whole concern, whole divorce, much time and space on policy. Holy semi. Holy semi means many here. Here means semantics. Semantic. Semantic means meaning. Many meanings. At the same time, how say is that polysemy is not pluralism? It's not pluralism. What is the difference between pluralism and polysemy? Polysemy is the meaning radiates from the center. It's the same thing but differently seen. Plural, pluralism means many number. For example, India, we have got a, our, our, our society is a pluralistic society, not a polysemic society. We cannot say our oh, is a polysemic society, but it is this pluralistic society. Because each one is different. Plural means what? More than one. But in this case, the sender is one, but you have got different meanings. You can see, if you look at this, you can see this health, for example. What is one meaning of health? First meaning is that your body is in a good condition. That is family health center. <laughs> that means uh, your body is, you are, whoever goes there, a member of the family or the whole family, your body will be in good condition there. Then, second, so good condition, you can say, good condition. Good, good condition body. That is, all your organs are functioning well. Synchronous, synchronously functioning. There's no problem. There's uh, hormone levels are all right. Sodium, potassium, sugar, etc. is all right. So in such a situation, you can say your head is all right, mind is all right. You're a happy man, and then you are a healthy person. Health, health means that. Second meaning is you can see family planning. So the family health center, family planning. Look at this. What is it How quality? Polysemy develops. See? Third meaning you can say this is a child care center. Child care. Speaks about child care. For this uh, prevention of malnutrition. See? Prevention, a center where prevention of malnutrition. For nutritious food is given. Prevention of some preventive steps taken. And fifth, fifth meaning would be, it is where you get there, all the family members get care. All the family members. Isn't it? Not only one or two. Sixth is, it's a place where if you undergo some operation, you will get the rewards. A rewarding place you can see. Seventh is, counseling center. Counseling center. It is a counseling center. And the eighth is it's a primary health center. Primary health center. So this family health. See health, how many meanings? This is poison. But they are not poor because all the words, all the meanings radiated from the center. That is from the this this. Uh, word health. So suppose you are making a report on family health center, a media message on family health center. So different meanings will be at play. You are producing a story, a new story, a new story for telecast. So that another restriction, restriction is again the reason. The story when it is discoursed, even when discoursed is different, you use oral, visual and the iconic signs. Iconic signs. 
oral science, visual science, and economic science. And there also we have problems. The oral sound, because this is discourse. And in discourse, discourse and language. In discourse, you have what? Uh, uh, rules of language, yes. There is another restriction, all dominance. See that? So, the story restricted by this. The story also restricted by language. This is the reason why he says uh, that uh, it's a complex structure. Think of it as a complex structure. It's not sender receiver, sender message and receiver, but it's a complex structure linked in syntactic relation and also each level. At each level, there are dominances you can say, or negatively speaking, restrictions. I've given you a number of them. If you think again, think of this, you will find more of them, depending on locality. Depending on, see, the, the logic employed here. Depending on the language used, suppose you are using dialects, and then you are telecasting a story, some people may not understand the See that? So such things can happen. Therefore, it is a complex structure. Encoding itself is a complex structure. Then you have got other two structures in between before decoding. That is, you have got a circulation is one and the consum consumption is another. Consumption or use is another. Distribution and consumption. Now, those stages also can, they, they, have, they also have a dominant role you can say. Because practically more than half of the restrictions on production level, at the production level, they are at play in the other two levels also. Ideology is at play, hegemony is at play. So anything not, because that is all, anything is all. Then you are, uh, the way oral, visual, iconic science are at play. Polysemy is at play, in, at the level even of circulation. Understand? So, it's a complex structure, he says. Why does Paul say that media messages are, a structure of the media messages are complex structures? It's because of these reasons. Understand? So, we will continue with this in the next class. In next class, we will concentrate on what are the problems or, you see, what, are, what how is encoding complex more complex than so how is decoding more complex than encoding encoding level polysemy has got a minor influence but at the level of decoding it has got a tremendous influence and Hall concentrates quite a lot of time and space on polysemy polysemy is one of the what we can say is a thing that you cannot a situation that you cannot, you nobody can bring it under control because audience members vary depending on the variation that you find in the audience members meaning also will change. That is one aspect of policy. Another aspect is the message itself may be uh, generating quite a number of different meanings. Understand? That doesn't mean that it is poorly. That's a very important point. If you want to know what pluralism is or how is pluralism different than pluralism, just, just think of this. India is a pluralistic society, but not a polysemic society. That's the difference. But a group can be polysemic. See, for example, you have got a Jewish people or you have got, a, you have got a, 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 an ethnic group. That group can become polysemic within, but not you, you cannot say a group is pluralistic. But when you have got many ethnic groups, racial groups and so on, such a society we can be pluralist. I hope you understand the difference between polysemy and pluralism. Because that is also a cardinal point as far as encoding and decoding is concerned. You are following. I hope that you are enjoying also my classes. So, we wait for the next class probably. We will be able to conclude it 
may or in one or two lectures more, one or maximum two. So till then, 